We'd like to hear your views on the time-wasting rule. Should it be enforced, yes, or do you not agree with it, no? A simple yes or no. And the numbers are, if you do agree, double one, double five, seven. If you do not agree, double one, double five, four. We'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Simply a yes or a no by dialing those numbers. Double one, double five, seven for yes. Double one, double five, four for no. We will keep the phones open throughout the afternoon and have details on your thoughts in our national news tonight at six o'clock. I mentioned it's a very big day of world of sport. The roller cycling final is going to be on in the program today. What's your decision is full of interest. We've got five very, very important decisions that umpire Rowan Saws is going to be put under the microscope and no doubt the panel will have a lot to say on those as well. So, as I say, plenty of action, plenty of entertainment, stay with us. First things first though, down to the game and as we welcome Louis back as part of the panel. Louis, what are your thoughts initially on this time-wasting rule? Well, look, let's not blame the umpires for the, uh, from the start. It's the is because they said that Sheedy, with the tactics he used last year uh, with the Bombers, by wasting time, that helped to win the Premiership. Every time that a side becomes strong, such as Essendon, it's happened right throughout the ages. The coaches get together and want to change the rules to stop these, play these sides from winning or succeeding. And this is a case in, uh, in uh, hand now. And if the coaches continue to uh, interfere with the rules, we'll have all these problems all along. That was a ridiculous report yesterday. So what are you saying, Sheedy? Well, I just think that the coaches should be kept away from the rules. I wouldn't let them have a say at all. If you want to change the rule, bring in some experts that are unbiased, that have nothing to do with their clubs. It happened with Kennedy years ago when they were crowding play. It's happened with every team you can think of that's been successful. The coaches are the biggest pest in the world when it comes to messing about with the rules. Louis, we'll have more on that later. Let's get down to the game. I don't think we could have asked for a better start to the 85 season. Well, that's what I'm very serious about it. And apparently there's a few coaches that dominate these uh, meetings they have. Anyway, congratulations to both sides yesterday. Aston and Hawthorne put up a tremendous performance considering the hot conditions. It was a great game. As a matter of fact, I reckon it was a better match than the grand final last year. It had everything. And there's no doubt about it. The Bombers are the side to beat again this year. They've got too many match winners in their lineup all over the ground. And Vanderhaar's great mark and great goal in that last quarter, that vital last 10 minutes, proves my point. And I would say this, they've still got Samba to come back into the side around about the end of June, so they're going to be a better team even, even as they are now. And remember this too, that Sheedy's made sure that the boys out at Windy Hill are not suffering with a premiership hangover either. No, I think we 